Tutankhamun was a minor king who died young after a brief reign. Cheops reigned more than 20 years and had the wealth and the power to construct one of the wonders of the world. If the mortuary temple near the Great Pyramid is any indication, Cheops' funeral must have been a far more lavish affair. If he was buried in the pyramid, he may be there still, and with him, treasure beyond anything seen so far. Small wonder Cheops took precautions. Once Cheops was entombed, the pyramid was sealed by workers inside. Starting with the ascending corridor, they would push or drop large blocks into each connection with another corridor. Did the workers then perish with their dead king? Probably not. A crude passageway has been found which starts deep beneath the pyramid and eventually leads back outside. The workers charged with protecting Cheops for all eternity apparently protected themselves with a hidden way out. It may be that the hidden way out provided looters with access to Cheops' tomb. It is just as likely that Cheops' secret is still safely locked inside the pyramid. At Stanford Research Laboratory in Menlo Park, California, a team directed by geophysicist Lambert Dolphin is preparing another assault on the secrets of the pyramid. The Great Pyramid is an example of a structure beautifully finished on the exterior originally. The casing stones were so perfect. Where you see them in place, they're beautifully accurately finished. But the interior stones are very rough. When you can crawl inside the interior passages, uh, the tourist doesn't see. The interior construction is rough. Uh, that says to me that no astronauts from outer space using laser stone cutting tools built the pyramids. We put razor blades inside the real pyramids and, and uh, flowers and fruit. Uh, the, our experience last time in the Pyramid of Chaos was that the razor blades rusted, the uh, flowers wilted, and rats ate the fruit. So firsthand we have no evidence of pyramid power operating in the real pyramids. I personally am very skeptical about the power of the pyramids to influence human behavior or sharpen razor blades, apart from the strong powers of human suggestion in a belief system. When people believe in something strongly, they can make it come true. And that's pyramidology, and then that's a lot of uh, other phenomenon as well. I'm skeptical also about lost golden tablets from Atlantis being buried in the area. I don't believe the Egyptians needed some kind of esoteric outer space technology to do what they did. What they did was very impressive. 100,000 men working for 30 years is an awful lot of labor and effort to build one pyramid. And that kind of construction went on for two or 300 years. Dr. Dolphin is pioneering a new technology which may enable archeologists to peer through the pyramids electronically without destroying them. Our work in 1974 using radar was unsuccessful because radio signals do not penetrate the pyramids well. The sound, the radio waves are absorbed in the damp stone. We went back, however, last February with uh, sound waves, acoustic sounding techniques, and found a number of anomalies. Places in the pyramids, around the pyramids, where there appear to be either chambers, cracks, either man-made or natural. An example of an anomaly which we think needs to be checked further is an apparent cavity in between the king's chamber and the queen's chamber in the Pyramid of Chaos. Our sounder indicates something there where there ought to be solid rock. If there is a hidden chamber in the pyramid, will it contain unimaginable treasure? Or will it be just another cipher, leaving the long rest of Chaos undisturbed? and the secrets of the pyramids intact. As the treasures of Tutankhamun tour the United States, it is clear that interest in Egyptology has never been greater. Perhaps people are responding to a dissatisfaction with the way modern thinkers view the world a yearning to understand a more ancient and tranquil wisdom. I certainly believe that Western science has de demythologized our contemporary society too much, that there really is mystery uh, all around us. 
I'm dedicated to the rediscovery of the mystery in life, to the unknown, to the uh, unusual, to the rare. I think that Egypt is a place where there are many exciting discoveries yet to be made. The pyramids still have their secrets. The discoveries to be made in the years to come are likely to be dramatic and sensational as man learns more about himself and his origins. And uh, Cairo itself is a city of mystery. The East is, a, is an exotic place. It, it stirs the, the very best in man. And I think we've lost that kind of consciousness in the, in the course of becoming Western civilized man. Perhaps the ultimate accomplishment of the pyramid builders is yet to be realized. Their monuments may one day lead us to rediscover the greater wonder that is the mind of man.